Hi, this is Eva for Once Upon a Timeline. Today we're going to talk about brand new changes to the human shoulder and the human skull. So first let's talk about the shoulder. Now I've been watching this scapula grow for quite some time. When it first showed about two years ago, it was quite flat. And slowly this ridge has been developing along the back. Now I kind of assumed it was just kind of a strengthening thing, but the last two weeks I've really noticed some weird pains in my, in my shoulders, both sides. And a lot of times the pain would come just when I would reach forward. I wasn't even carrying anything heavy, just like reaching for something in front of me. So that prompted me to look at the shoulder structure, something I have been doing regularly anyways. And what I've seen is that this uh, shelf here now extends around and actually attaches up here to the collarbone. It did not used to do that. You can see it here on this side it's attaching now to the collarbone now the collarbone used to attach to the regular shoulder in front that didn't used to attach to the to the um, to the shoulder back here it didn't used to attach to the scapula so that is a new change that this has reached around I mean it's changed in the last few weeks this one might show it a little bit better you can see here this right here attaches right there here's a front view this is the front now. You can see that this show, this uh, bone here attaches right there. Now this bone used to come and attach somewhere in here, but now it's attaching to this back scapula bone. Uh, so the clavicle attachment is different now. Here's from the back view again. So that's what's changed for me. I, I don't think it's done changing because there's something real grindy uh, in the shoulder for certain movements, and it's, it's the reaching forward move it, movement that's causing the problem. So uh, that one, I think, is in progress, and we'll see probably some continuing development. Uh, another change that I've spotted is in the human skull. I've been kind of watching this. Um, one of my regular commenters on my live stream, QP, had said that she saw something in the skull, but the uh, live stream was just ending, and she wasn't able to clarify what she meant. But that prompted me to really look at the skull and I looked at a lot of images, and I did notice that in just a few of the images, you could see a fissure here and along here, right in the front of the face here. And uh, also on a few images, I saw a cut here and uh, a cut here on a few of the other images. This one does not show, but there was a chin cut on a few of them. So let's look at it here. You can see it here, but just barely, and you can see this cut right here like a fissure. So here again you can see it there and, and just a little bit there. You can also see that this um, nasal bones here have really pushed out and this little lip underneath the nasal bone has really pushed out. This has gotten a lot longer over here but those are a little bit older Emmys. The, the fissures are, are quite new to me. So I really looked and I finally found one one map that kind of shed what that is, and they, they're calling it the zygomatico-maxillary suture. And then this same image also showed this other one here, and it's intermaxillary suture. So these sutures now exist here. They're brand new for me. I think that we will also see one down here uh, coming because it's just starting to show up on a few images. But th there's very few images that, that show these sutures right now. And there are very few diagrams that show these sutures. So I think these are hot off the ME presses, so to speak. So anyway, those are the latest two anatomy changes that I've seen. This is Eva signing off for Once Upon a Timeline.